my children. Hope you worked out the word problems and are thorough. Many extra questions are available in other books. The content is explained of each type of problems. You can refer and read the question thoroughly before forming the equations. Today's topic is equations reducible to a pair of linear equation. The general form of a linear equation of a pair of linear equation was a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 and a2x plus b2y is equal to c2. This was the general form. Now, this topic deals with equations which are not directly in the form of a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 or a2x plus b2y is equal to c2. We may have to give another substitution to make the equations familiar as linear equation. That is why the heading equations reducible to a pair of linear equations. Let's take the textbook exercise question. Exercise 3.6. The first question is solve the following pair of equations by reducing them to a pair of linear equation. The equations are in this form 1 by 2x plus 1 by 3y is equal to 2. That's the first equation. Second equation 1 by 3x plus 1 by 2y is equal to 13 by 6. When you look into this pair of equations you can see the variable x and y is placed in the denominator position. The substitution is let in both the equations the first term contains 1 by x and the second equation, the second term contains 1 by y. Thus the substitution is let 1 by x be another letter a or u or v another letter 1 by y is equal to b. So, automatically how the equation will turn, 1 by x takes the value a. So, a will be in the numerator position. Therefore, a by 2 plus b by 3 is equal to 2. The second equation, a by 3 plus b by 2 is equal to 13 by 6. That is, the variables in the question was x and y. It is converted into a and b. Final step we will substitute back and get the answers of x and y. These two equations you will solve. LCM is 6. 6 and you will make it as 3a plus 2b by 6 is equal to 2 or 3a plus 2b is equal to 6 to the 12. Again, here the LCM is 6. You will get the equation as 2a plus 3b by 6 is equal to 13 by 6 or the second equation is 2a plus 3b is equal to 13. There are two methods of solving this equation. 3a plus 2b is equal to 12 and 2a plus 3b is equal to 13. Here you can see it's a direct interchange of the coefficient. One method is as by elimination method. The equations can be made, the a term has to be made into 6. And you can proceed. Let me teach you a new method. 3a plus 2b is equal to 12. 2a plus 3b is equal to 13. This method, when you have the coefficients interchange, there is an easy method when bigger numbers are involved that I am going to teach you here. First, you add the equations. 
5a plus 5b is equal to 25 or a plus b takes the value 5. Now, you subtract the equations You subtract the equations, 3a minus 2a is positive a, 2b minus 3b is negative b is equal to minus 1. Second equation and here the solving is very very simple. a plus b is equal to 5, a minus b is equal to minus 1, 2b is equal to 6 or b value is 3. Substituting a plus 3 is equal to 5 or a value is 2. One equation is in x and y and so we have to find the final values or final solution of x, y by substituting the value of a and b as 1 by x and 1 by y. Thus 1 by x is equal to a, 1 by x is equal to 2 by cross multiplication 2x is equal to 1 or x is equal to half. Similarly, 1 by y is equal to b, 1 by y is equal to 3, 3y is equal to 1 or y is equal to 1 by 3. So the solution is 1 by 2, 1 by 3. This is how the equations reducible to a pair of linear equations. This is question number 2. 2 by root x plus 3 by root y is equal to 2. 4 by root x minus 9 by root y is equal to minus 1. As you have seen here, the variable x is in the denominator position. We have to bring it into the numerator position. The substitution of let 1 by x is already here. The terms are 1 by root x and 1 by root y. Let 1 by root x is equal to a and 1 by root y is equal to p. 2 is already in the numerator position. a is also being into the numerator position. So the equation has 2a plus 3b is equal to 2. Second equation 4a minus 9b is equal to minus 1. 2a, 1 by root x has taken the position of a. Equating the first, the elimination method, 4a plus 6b is equal to 4, 4a minus 9b is equal to minus 1. By changing the signs, 15b is equal to 5 or b is equal to 5 by 15 which is equal to 1 by 3. Substituting in one of the equations, 2a plus 3 into 1 by 3 is equal to 2. 2a plus 1 is equal to 2. 2a is equal to 2 minus 1, 1 or a is equal to half. Let's give back the substitution. 1 by root x is equal to a. That is 1 by root x is equal to 1 by 2. By cross multiplication, root x is equal to 2 or we wanted the value of x. How do you get x is by squaring on both sides. Root x the whole square is equal to 2 the whole square or x is equal to 4. Similarly, 1 by root y is equal to b value is 1 by 3. Root y is equal to 3. Squaring on both sides, root y the whole square which is equal to 3 square or y is equal to 9. Therefore, what is the solution of this equation is 4. Number 4, the pattern remains the same when you see here. The first terms are both 1 by x minus 1 and the second terms are both 1 by y minus 2. Let's consider 1 by x minus 1 as a and 1 by y minus 2 as b. So the equations will become 5a plus b is equal to 2, 6a minus 3b is equal to 1, 
by equating, multiplying by 6 and multiplying by 5, 30A plus 6B is equal to 12, 30A minus 15B is equal to 5, by changing the signs, 21B is equal to 7 or B value is 7 by 21 is the same as 1 by 3. Substituting, 5A plus B is equal to 2. 5A plus 1 by 3 is equal to 2. 5A is equal to 2 minus 1 by 3 by LCM. 6 minus 1 by 3. 5A is equal to 5 by 3. 15A is equal to 5 or A is equal to 5 by 15 which is equal to 1 by 3. That is A value as well as B value is 1 by 3. Give back the substitution as 1 by X minus 1 is equal to A. A value is 1 by 3. Cross multiply. X minus 1 is equal to 3 or X is equal to 3 plus 1, 4. 1 by y minus 2 is equal to b. b value is also 1 by 3. Cross multiply y minus 2 is equal to 3 or y is equal to 5. So what is the solution of this equations? It is 4, 5. Number 5 we can see another pattern. 7x minus 2y by xy is equal to 5, 8x plus 7y by xy is equal to 15. Question number 6, you can see the same pattern. 7x minus 2y can be cross multiplied as 5xy and the second equation can be written as 15xy. That is the pattern given in question number 6. After working out this problem, you can work out 6 on your own. 7x minus 2y by xy can be written as 7x by xy minus 2y by xy is equal to 5 which gives you the simplified form as 7 by y minus 2 by x is equal to 5. Similarly, the second equation as 8x by xy plus 7 by xy is equal to 15 or the simplified form is 8 by y plus 7 by x is equal to 15. These two equations now it became familiar as you have done in question number 1. Let us assume let 1 by y. Here the first term is 1 by y. It is not a matter. 1 by y is equal to a. 1 by x is equal to b. 7a minus 2b is equal to 5. Second equation 8a plus 7b is equal to 15. LCM is 56. You are multiplying with 8 and multiply by 7 or 56a minus 16b is equal to 40. 56a plus 49b is equal to 105. You will change the signs. 15 minus 65b is equal to minus 65 or b value is 1. Substituting as 7a minus 2 into 1 is equal to 5. 7a is equal to 5 plus 2, 7 or a value is also 1. Again substituting back 1 by y is equal to a. That is 1 by y is equal to 1 means y is also 1. 1 by x is equal to b or 1 by x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 1. Therefore, the solution of this equation is 1, 1. Now, this is a special type of equation and you can see in the question itself there is xy which has a power 2 which shows that 
this equations can have two set of values for the solution and for these type of equations another pair of solution is 0 0 also the next pattern of question 10 by x plus y plus 2 by x minus y is equal to 4 15 by x plus y minus 5 by x minus y is equal to minus 2 the same pattern the first term contains 1 by x plus y and the second term contains a similar terms 1 by x minus y. Let us take 1 by x plus y as a, 1 by x minus y as b and solve the equations as 10a plus 2b is equal to 4. Second equation 15a minus 5b is equal to minus 2. 10 and 15, LCM of 10 and 15, 5, 2, 3. 5, 2 is 10, 10 into 3, 30. Multiplying by 3 and multiplying by 2. LCM is equal to 30. So it is becoming 30A plus 6B is equal to 12. 30A minus 10B is equal to minus 4. 16b is equal to 16 or b value is 1. Substituting in one of the equations 10a plus 2 into 1. 2 into 1 is equal to 4. 10a is equal to 2 or a value is 2 by 10 which is equal to 1 by 5. Now giving back the substitution as 1 by x plus y is equal to a. That is 1 by x plus y is equal to your a value is 1 by 5. Again cross multiplying you are getting x plus y is equal to 5. The b value 1 by x minus y is equal to b. Your b value is 1. 1 by x minus y is equal to 1 or x minus y is equal to 1. You are getting another pair of linear equations and you will be solving them as x plus y is equal to 5, x minus y is equal to 1. Subtracting the equations, 2y is equal to 4, y is equal to 2. Substituting x plus 2 is equal to 5, x is equal to 3. Therefore, this is the final solution. The solution is 3, 2. So, the steps are guessing the value of 1 by x plus y and 1 by x minus y. These type of equations are involved in word problems. That is why it is a special method of Solving by reducing it into the form of pair of linear equations. Number 8. 1 by 3x plus y plus 1 by 3x minus y is equal to 3 by 4. 1 by 2 into 3x plus y minus 1 by 2 into 3x minus y equal to minus 1 by 8. Again, since the first terms have the same quantity of 1 by 3x plus y, Second term has 1 by 3x minus y. The substitution goes as let 1 by 3x plus y be a. 1 by 3x plus y is equal to a and 1 by 3x minus y is equal to b. This fully term has been occupied as a or the first equation is a plus b is equal to 3 by 4 to avoid a fraction. 4 into a plus b is equal to 3 or 4a plus 4b is equal to 3. The second equation as a by 2 minus b by 2 is equal to minus 1 by 8. Common LCM of 2. a minus b by 2 is equal to minus 1 by 8. Cross multiplying 8a minus 8b is equal to minus 2 or 2 is common everywhere. You can reduce the equation as 4a minus 4b is equal to minus 1. That is you are dividing 
throughout the equation with 2. The first equation is 4a plus 4b is equal to 3. Second equation 4a minus 4b is equal to minus 1. The solving 4a plus 4b is equal to 3. 4a minus 4b is equal to minus 1. 8b is equal to 4 or b is equal to 4 by 8 is the same as 1 by 2. Substituting in any one of the equation 4a plus 4 into 1 by 2 is equal to 3. 4a plus 2 is equal to 3. 4a is equal to 3 minus 2 1 or a value is 1 by 4. Giving back the substitution, 1 by 3x plus y is equal to a, 1 by 4. Cross multiplying, 3x plus y is equal to 4. 1 by 3x minus y is equal to b, 1 by 3x minus y is equal to b value is half or 3x minus y is equal to 2. Is equal to 2. Solving again. You are getting 2y is equal to 2 or y value as 1. Substituting 3x plus 1 is equal to 4. 3x is equal to 4 minus 1, 3 or x is again 1. Therefore, the solution is x, y, that is, the solution is 1, 1. This question can be asked directly as solved for 3 marks in any exam.